What is up designers? Welcome to my Illustrator tutorial and today we're gonna learn how to create a Gorilla logo in Adobe Illustrator. So this is the final result that we're gonna get after watching this video. If you want to follow along you're welcome to do so. So the first thing we want to do is select our ellipse tool. You can do that by pressing L on your keyboard or just going manually over here and selecting the ellipse tool. Next up, you want to press down shift and go across and make a circle. I'm going to select the black color so it's very well visible. Next, I'm going to select the uppermost anchor and I do so by selecting it with my direct selection tool, A for shortcut. I'm just going to select the top anchor, press down shift and just move it up like that. So it resembles the head of a gorilla or basically it looks like an egg. And I'm going to center it, maybe make it a little bit smaller. Um, so with that, basically, we have the head ready. And uh, this tutorial is actually very easy because we're basically using only one shape, this egg shape. Uh, I'm going to copy this one by pressing down Control or Command C and then Control or Command F to paste it in front. So now we actually have two. So what you want to do is press down shift and alt or option key and then go in the corner and just reduce the size of it down to about here and then make it a white color so it's visible. I'm going to put it down a little bit lower because I think it looks a little bit better like, like that and you can adjust it to your taste. You can also just go ahead and like Google how gorilla's head looks like. It really helps to actually see what's in the nature when you're designing something. Um, so yeah, with that said, uh, this is going to be the face area. And next up, we want to create some eyes for it. So I'm going to select the black shape and Control or Command C and then Control or Command F to copy in front and then a, even though we have copied it and even though we have two shapes here, it's not really visible because it's behind this uh, this shape. So what we want to do is bring it in front and we do that by pressing down Control or Command Shift and right bracket. And if you want to do that manually, you can just right click the object and go to Arrange, bring to front. And as you can see, the shortcut here is Shift Control Right bracket and then just resize that. Again, I'm pressing down Shift and Alt or Option key to resize it equally and you will have this smaller egg shape that you can use for the eyes. Depending on your taste, you can go for bigger eyes or smaller eyes. It's totally up to you. Uh, once you have it ready, you can just duplicate it by pressing down Alt or Option key and then just dragging this uh, across and I'm going to leave it at that. Next, what you want to do is select both of them by pressing down Shift and then clicking on both of them and group them by pressing down Control or Command G. So once we group them, the area between them is going to be fixed. So now we can symmetrically place it in the middle of the head. So I'm going to select my eyes. Then I'm going to select the back of the head and then I'm going to click the back head one more time. That is going to make the back head the main object and you can see that by the thick contour it has. So what that does is if you align this object to uh, each other the eyes are going to be aligned to the back head. So let me just show you that. When I click the horizontal align center it's going to be aligned towards the back head. Now just to demonstrate what I mean is let's say the eyes were here and we selected this and then selected the back head and this time we pressed the eyes and selected them as the main object and then we pressed the horizontal align center the back head would move towards the eyes instead but we don't want that we want the eyes to be centered into uh, centered towards the head one last element we want to add is the mouth so I'm gonna use the same technique so select the back head copy it paste it in front uh, and then control or command shift right bracket to bring it in front again and just going to resize it to about this size and that's going to be the mouth so you can make it larger or smaller depending on your taste and I forgot to include uh, another area of the face uh, so let's do that now it's really easy let's select the white area here and then copy it 
by pressing down Control or Command C and paste it in front, so Control or Command F. So now we have two white areas here. And what you want to do is press down Shift and move it up a little bit, uh, somewhere like this. And then you want to press down Shift again, go to one of the corners of the object and rotate it 180 degrees, so something like that. Then you want to select it again, make it a little bit smaller, and that's going to be the top of the head. You can adjust it to your liking. Uh, just make sure that it has uh, these edges coming through because it represents the eyebrow area. So if you look at gorillas, uh, they have a huge eyebrow area and that's what we're trying to replicate here. So with that said, you can of course add some text here. I'm just going to type gorilla here and make it a little bit bigger. Select my one of my favorite um, fonts here, which is Bungie because I think it fits this style very well. I'm gonna center it, and that's pretty much it for the gorilla. Now, one more thing you can do is I'm gonna just duplicate this here, and you can actually change the expression your gorilla has. So select the top white area, and use your direct selection tool to select the top anchor, and just move it down right between the eyes, somewhere around here release and then also move down this anchor down like around the same area you placed the previous anchor with that you're gonna get this kind of expression that he's angry and of course you can just you know adjust the eyes and make them bigger and what whatever like it's it's really flexible and it's really easy design because it literally uses just one shape and yet you get so many abilities to just create different designs different expressions you can even change the color i really like the gray scale so i'm gonna select the uh, blacks here and then go to my swatches and select like the middle gray here and then i'm gonna select the whites here and select one of the lighter gray so that also looks cool i think so yeah that's pretty much it on how to design a gorilla logo I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, smash that like button because I really appreciate it. If you want to see more of my content, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.